now let's see this example design linear bounded automata for the language a power n b power n c power n where n is greater than or equal to 1 we know that pda that is push down automata cannot accept this language so if we can prove that this language is accepted by lba then we can say that linear bounded automata is more powerful than the pda uh, here the language is n number of a's are followed by n number of b's are followed by n number of c's so if n is equal to 1 then a b c is the string if n is equal to 2 then a a b b c c if n is equal to 3 then the string is 3 bull a 3 bull b 3 bull c 3 bull c uh, so here the logic is very very simple uh, if the input is a then we have to replace a by x and move the right till we get b if the input is b then replace the symbol by y and move the right till we get c if we get c then replace c by z so here we have x uh, this y is nothing but corresponding x this z is nothing but corresponding to x and y okay next we have to move towards the left till we get a so the second a will be replaced by x and move the right till we get y so after y we have b so replace this b by y next move the right till we get z after z we will be having c so replace this c by z so this is second x uh, the corresponding y the corresponding z and then move towards the left till we get a so replace this a by z move right till we get b till we get y after y we have b so replace it by z and then move towards the right till we get z after z we have c so replace this c by z okay uh, so this is the logic here here the logic is similar to the turing vision only uh, but there is a some difference at the uh, at the end marker here uh, in turing mission what is the last symbol blank symbol uh, whereas uh, uh, whereas here in linear bounded automata the last symbol is uh, right hand marker okay that is the only difference uh, if the input is right hand marker then replace by right hand marker and we have to move either towards the left or right it is our choice uh, but here the difference is Turing machine is more powerful than the linear bounded, linear bounded automata. There are some languages which can be accepted only by the Turing machine. But linear bounded automata can't accept those languages. So that's why we can say that uh, Turing machine is more powerful than the linear bounded automata. Why? Because in Turing machine, the length of the input tape, the length of the input string is infinite. So there is no limit on the length of the input string. Whereas in linear bounded automata, the length of the input string is finite. It can hold only a certain number of characters. That is the difference. So here this is this linear bounded automata for this language is similar to the uh, Turing machine only, uh, but with only one difference at the uh, uh, at the ending side. Uh, so let here the input tape contains uh, uh, input tape contains uh, three bull a. Next three bull b. 3 bull b next uh, 3 bull c 3 bull c we know that uh, uh, in uh, linear bounded automata okay the input tape uh, uh, this left symbol is left hand marker whereas right symbol is right marker okay left to marker and right marker left and right marker so right marker means after the uh, input string we have to write the right marker so before the input string left to marker so initially we are at the symbol a so let the current state is q naught let the initial state is q naught so what we have to do if we apply a on q naught then replace a by x and then move towards the right so if we read a on q naught and then replace a by x and move ahead towards the right next to q1 on q1 if we read a then don't change a but move the head towards the right don't change a so keep it as same only but move the head towards the right so q1 on a means a only next to q1 on a means a only next to b what is the next symbol b so now the head is at b so if we read b on q1 then replace b by y and move the head towards the right till we get c okay 
So now replace this B by Y and move the head towards the right. Okay. So this Y is for the corresponding X. So now we are at Q2 state. So on Q2 state, if we apply any number of Bs, then there is no need to change the B, but move the head towards the right. So next uh, B, move the head towards the right. Next to C. So if we read C on Q2, then replace C by Z and move the head towards the left. Move the head towards the left. So now this C will be replaced by Z. So this Z is for the corresponding Y and X. Okay. And move the head towards the left. And move the head towards the left. So now we are at Q3 state. And the input symbol is what? B. Uh, so here what is our target here? Uh, here we have to move the head towards the left. Till we get, till we get X. For the second iteration. Okay. So now we are at B symbol. So if we read B on Q3. Then keep it as same only. But move the head towards the left. So keep it as same. Move the head towards the left. Keep it as same. Move the head towards the left. Next, Y on Q3. Y on Q3. Keep it as same. But move the head towards the left. Next, we are at A. So A, if you read A. So then also keep it as same. Move the head towards the left. Here we have to move the head towards the left. Till we get X. Okay. So now we are at A. So keep it as same. Move the head towards the left. And what is the next input symbol? X. So if we read X, then it specifies that one iteration is over. So 1A and the corresponding B, C is over. So replace A, re, uh, if we read X, then keep it as same only, but move the head towards the right for the second iteration. So keep it as X, but move the head towards the right for the second iteration. Okay. Now we are at Q0 state. Why? Because here on Q3, the input symbol is X. So keep it as same, but move the head towards the right. Now we are at A. So uh, next A on Q0 means it will be replaced by, it will be replaced by X and move the head towards the right. Next Q1 on A means keep it as same only, but move the head towards the right. Okay. So now we have to move the head towards the right till we get this B, till we get this B. So if we read, if we read Y on Q1, then there is no need to change the Y, but move the head towards the right. So after Y, we will have B. So if we read B on Q1, then we have to replace this B by Y. So this is for the second X, corresponding Y. Okay. Next, move the head towards the right till we get C. Okay. Till we get C. Okay. And what is the next input symbol? B. So B on Q2 means B only. Next input symbol is Z. So if we read Z on Q2, then keep it as same, but move the head towards the right. Okay. So move the head towards the right. Okay. So now we are at C. So C on Q2 means it will, it will be replaced by Z. So this Z is for the corresponding Y and X. And move the head towards the left. So next, now we are at which, which state? So now we are at Q3 state. So Q3 on Z means now we have to move the head towards the left till we get X. Okay. So Q3 on Z means Z only, but move the head towards the left. So now we are at B. So B means B only, but move the head towards the left. Next Y means Y only, move the head towards the left. Y only, move the head towards the left. Next A, A only, but move the head towards the left. So now we are at the second X. So if we read X on Q3, then we have to move to the Q0 state. So keep it as same only, but move the head towards the right. So if the input symbol is A, then we can say that second iteration is over. Now we are searching for the third A. Okay. Next, A on Q0 means replace A by X and move the head towards the right till we get B. Okay. Next, Q1 on Y means Y only but move the head towards the right. Y only but move the head towards the right. Next, Q1 on B means it will be replaced by it will be replaced by Y and move the head towards the right till we get C. Okay. Next, Z on Q2 means Z only but move the head towards the right. Z on Q2 means Z only but move the head towards the right. Next C on Q2 means so this C will be replaced by Z. So this Z is for the corresponding third Y and third X and move the head towards the left and move the head towards the left uh, and move the head towards the left. So now we are at which state? Q3 state. Q2 on C means it is replaced by Z. Move the head towards the left. Now we are at Q3. 
so q3 and z means z only z means z only y means y only y only y only next we are at x so if you read x then we have to search for the next iteration next a so if you read x and q3 then keep it as same only but move the head towards the right but move the head towards the right so now we are at which state now we are at which symbol y symbol so if you read y on q0 then it specifies that there are no x's now we have to search whether is there are any b's and uh, uh, any c's or not so for that purpose what we have to do is if we apply if we apply y on q0 then then keep it as same only but move the head towards the right in order to search for y z or in order to search for b and c okay so y is nothing but b next z is nothing but c so q3 is over so what is the next state q4 is the next state so next q0 and y means keep it as same only but move the head towards the right now we are at q4 state so on q4 if we apply any number of y's then keep it as same only and move the head towards the right in order to search for any number of uh, jets do we have any uh, any other uh, any other c's or not okay any other c's or not next y on q4 means y only y on q4 means y only next z so if we read z on q4 then keep it as same only but move the head towards the right in order to search for c's or in order to check whether the uh, jets are over or not okay so now we have to move to the state q5 okay so q4 on z means z only but move the head towards the right next here we can write the self loop so z on q5 means keep it as same only but move the head towards the right so z on q5 means z only move the head towards the right so z on q5 means z only move the head towards the right so now we can conclude that our entire input string is uh, completely processed so z only but move the head towards the right so if you read this right end marker then it specifies that then it specifies that the complete input string is processed this right end marker is nothing but end of the input string so key, replace this by right end marker only and move the head towards the left okay so this is nothing but our acceptance state final state so and move the head towards the right so we can say that uh, a linear bounded automata can accept this language but the same language is accepted by uh, turing machine only but the difference is turing machine is more powerful than the uh, linear bo bounded automata in turing machine the size of the input tape the size of the input string is infinite so there are some languages which can be accepted only by the turing machine those languages can't be accepted by uh, this linear bounded automata okay so this is for linear bounded automata for the language a power n b power n c power n where n is greater than or equal to 1